Hey, Jeff Jantz here at Jantzer Studios. So I'm in the middle of a puppet build and I thought that I would share just a quick video of the mechanism that's gonna be inside of the puppet. And sooner or later, I'll be coming out with the rest of the video of the whole puppet build, sort of a montage. But I was trying to kind of figure out how to make a really great mechanism and there's not a ton of resources out there. So I thought I'd just share really quickly what I made here and then kind of show how it works and explain some of the materials I used. And if anybody out there is trying to make their own puppet mech, hopefully that will help. So I have a little trigger here and here's the mechanism. This is gonna fit inside of the foam. And when you pull the trigger, this will wiggle the antenna. And then the other finger will blink the eyes. One of the biggest challenges for me was just trying to figure out what the best materials were to use. So I used some scrap PVC. This is Schedule 34 inch that I just heated up and bent around to the shape I needed. Of course, some regular nuts and bolts, some aluminum pieces that I tapped and threaded, and then an old scrap piece of plywood for the handle, along with a couple of scrap pieces of copper that I used to make these copper rings. And inside the tube is just some braided fishing line. It's like 70 pounds, so it's pretty strong stuff. The tubing that I used for the cable housings is 5 30 seconds nylon tubing. Making mechanisms can be really time consuming. I made this whole thing before I realized that it really just wasn't gonna work. It didn't fit right and it was too bulky. So I had to start all over again, but that's just part of engineering. It takes a lot of experimentation and trial and error. All right, well, if you're building your own puppet mech, hey, good luck to you. Follow me on Instagram and I'll post some more pictures of some of the details. Tag Jancer Studios if you build your own mech so that I can see what you got. Also, if you're looking to build your own puppet and you're looking for some other tutorials, check out Adam Krutinger. He's one of my favorite puppet YouTubers and he's got a ton of really great stuff. I learned so many awesome tricks from him, so check him out. All right, stay tuned and make sure you subscribe so you can see the whole puppet build once I get it done. All right, see you next time.